It's Grimm's Toy Show Transformer Review. I am your host, Ebenezer Middlesdorf. Today I'm going to review this shit out of Fall of Cybertron Sound Blaster and Fall of Cybertron Soundwave. They're the same damn toy, just repainted different colors. So that's why I'm going to do them together. Here we see Sound Blaster in the box there. And, you know, it's trying to look like the Sound Blaster of G1, but, you know, all Fall of Cybertronian. Fall of Cybertrony. Whatever. And what the fuck are you pointing at, Soundwave? Asshole. This is him in the front of the package in here. Oh, look, laser beak is included. And this guy comes with Buzzsaw. And this is the bullshit on the back of the box here. You can pause it if you want to read all that crap there. And you can see his Tribersonian communication truck mode. And then over here you can see, you know, the robot mode and all that kind of bullshit. And then here... You got communication, truck mode for sound wave. And wait a minute, what the hell's going on in his chest here? And then you got laser beak data disc figure included. And then you can pause there if you want to read all his shit. Oh, wait a minute, look at all this bullshit on the side of the box. I like all these drawings and shit. They look pretty cool. I wish the toys actually looked that good. What a waste. This is the fuck face out of his case. You can see the big red tipped dog penis on his shoulder there. Got the Decepticon logo on his chest, and then some type of claws here. I don't know, I don't like claws that close to my balls. No thank you, these are his legs. And then here we have Soundwave, and kind of looks like a cigarette on Soundwave's shoulder there. Same thing, he's got claws by his balls, and then there's his legs. And then they each come with one of these little parakeets here. The gold one comes with Sound Blaster, and the red one comes with Soundwave. Buzzsaw and Laserbeak. And this is a sad state of affairs if these are supposed to be the updates of the original G1s. Because these things are kind of shitty. This is his face. Okay, that's pretty G1 looking. This is Soundwave's face. And again, it's also very G1-y like. This is the bullshit on the back of the figure. And if you look closely, you can see a rubber band that I forgot to cut off. They always hide fucking rubber bands in there somewhere. Pisses me the hell off. I'll find a figure that I opened three years ago that's still got rubber bands on it. And look, the same bullshit here. He's got rubber bands there stapled to him. And he's got some red tab on the back, probably for some type of transformation. And then it's, look, he's got these little purple wheels there stapled to his ankles. All right, now check this shit out. He's got, you can hold the, those little data discs in there. He's got this gigantic, huge, cavernous chest here, and it goes really deep. This thing's about as big, thick, and wide as the Big Show's asshole. Look at that. You could shove all kinds of shit in there if you wanted to. And in the midst of transforming him here, you gotta pull out the back. It comes out with this big, long neck giraffe-looking piece. I don't know. I'm gonna figure this shit out and put him in truck mode. All right. A couple little twists here and there. He's pretty easy to transform. And now he's a rolling battle box of shit, ready to shoot the fuck out of somebody with his big, roof-mounted cannon. You can see the feet there that tucked into the roof. And look, there's like this cool little seat. Some asshole could sit up there and shoot shit. We're like, ah! Right? And then you got these stupid-ass purple wheels. I hate these. I don't know why they're clear-ass purple wheels. It looks pretty stupid and lame. But, uh, you know, I guess that's how it goes. And these things, they don't click together at all. So that's kind of useless. And then look here. He's got this claw attack weapon in the front. And he rolls along like this. And he can claw your balls. Right up in your crotch. And claw the fuck out of your testicles. That's what that's for. Spider ball attack. <laughs> Which then brings us to these little shitty things. These are the data discs here. And it turns into laser beak and buzzsaw. And look at that. You just drop the fucker and he transforms automatically. Did you see how I nailed the fuck out of that? Now... I wish they would have just made a stop sign that would transform into that guy. Wouldn't that be pretty cool? Be a lot more intriguing than a stupid data disc. If it was a stop sign. Actual robots in disguise. I'd turn into a fucking stop sign. I'd be like, stop shooting me, motherfucker! Alright, so this is how you transform these assholes. You gotta tuck the head in. Fold it back. <clears throat> fold that on top. Slide those in. You fucking asshole. You're supposed to stay together. I don't know how they're supposed to stay together. They kind of stay together. There you go. Look, I got them. See? That's the bottom. 
And that's the top. And then if you drop them, they transform right into a bird. Die, 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 die. Here comes the bird again. Gonna fucking pick your eyes out. And aside from shoving the shitty little bird into the sound blaster's chest here, I can't figure out how to display him on the robot mode. So I just kind of mashed his wings there into the top of his shoulders, and now he's sitting on his head. And just like a typical bird, he'll probably take a shit on his head. You can see both of Soundwave's fists are clenched. That way he can jerk off with either his right hand or his left hand. Sometimes if he turns his hand upside down, it'll make it feel like somebody else is doing it. Holy gefilterfish, check this out. If you shove the data disk all the way in there, you could probably get like two of them in there. But you gotta pull this back piece all the way out. And then if you shove the back piece in, eh, it comes to the front. Look at that. And then there's only room for one. And then you close it up. Just like you're putting a pizza in the oven. In this scene, Soundwave is feeling awfully horny. And he's all like, Laser beak, eject, operation, pussy retrieval. And the motherfucker wasn't come out. Okay, now Laserbeak's ready for pussy retrieval. Watch this. You drop him and he transforms automatically. Nailed the fuck out of it. Thank you for watching, little Grimmies. Don't forget to check out GrimsToyShow.com for exclusive content, exclusive videos, exclusive news, and even more fun. And please like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe. Fawa Mawa.